Hi, today I decided to share with you what I do with my spell remains and how I dispose of them. So after I'm working, I would usually keep in mind the kind of working that I did, because the way you dispose of your spell remains, it's going to depend on the kind of working that you did. What I mean by that is, for example, if you do a money spell and you would want to attract more customers to your business to make more sales, you definitely don't want to put the remains in the trash. I would put them somewhere close to my working space and keep them there. I usually collect the leftover candle wax and herbs and whatever I used for this spell in a small pouch so that I can store it more easily. If I would do a banishing of some kind, I would dispose the items as far as I can depending on the items but usually I would use a trash can if the remains are safe to bury you can bury them far from your home because you want that thing that you banished to stay far away from you. I would keep my bindings in a sealed jar usually and if I don't need this working anymore because I moved in another town like I did now for example, I would just take everything apart, cleanse, hang the items and throw them away. If I would do a protection working, I would usually keep the remains in a black bag close to me or even in my purse. I can then later on add more energy energy into it by adding more items or just charging it again. I never really throw away any of my protection workings remains even after a while. I do believe that you can add more intention to it later on and the energy will just build up and it's easier for me to maintain my protections than do everything all over again. If I did a spell and it manifested and I'm happy with the results and I just want to get rid of the remains, I would cleanse the items, thank them for for their assistance and then dispose them depending on what I used. Candle remains, I would just throw them in a bin. Herbs can be composted. In Italy, all the trash is organized by plastic paper, glass and metals and the food remains that you can compost, so I would dispose the items according to their material. I know there are people who are able to just go in the woods and bury things, but I live in an area where I cannot do these things at the moment because it's been a bear attack recently and it ended the life of a person so for now it's not safe for the people who live in my town to go out in the woods but if you can do go for it just make sure to stay safe and please be careful of what you're putting in the ground because there could be animals that can get hurt or eat something that they shouldn't eat salt is also not good for the soil so do your research before you put something in the earth as well as in the water. The reason that I don't want to talk about disposing of remains in the water is because I wouldn't want people to start throwing things in the rivers and so on because that could be dangerous for the aquatic habitat and we already have enough of that. For those of you who live in a rental property, you can use a plant pot. It's also nice because you already know where you put the remains of your working in case you would like to add something or remove it completely. If a working didn't manifest it the way I wanted it to manifest, I would take everything apart, cleanse the item and throw them in the bin and take the trash outside. Of course, according to the materials, I would separate everything. To reverse a spell is time consuming to me so I would dispose of any leftover energy and just let everything pass. If I used any dishes, jars, crystals or any other tools I would cleanse them and of course reuse everything. If I would do a positive working I usually don't cleanse my altar space I just let it as it is until I have to do another working and then I would cleanse everything before doing a new spell. There are practitioners who would bury their remains at I don't know, a bank, if you did a spell to help you to get a credit, I personally just do tag locks. It could be because I am an introvert and I don't like to go outside and do things that would get other people's attention. Most of the time I would do my workings at home and dispose of them in a bin. I also live in an apartment, but if you are brave enough and 
you want to try burying your remains outside of your home you can do that just make sure it is safe for the soil and that it won't cause you any problems i don't know the rules in all countries if i would go to a bank and start to dig dirt to bury my stuff that would be suspicious so i don't practice outside i feel more comfortable at home keep in mind that this is just how I dispose of my spare remains, there are practitioners who do it differently and there is nothing wrong with that. If you prefer to do things differently then go for it as long as you stay safe if you decide to go out at night or burn things and so on. I would say nothing is wrong with having a different style or of practice. I just wanted to give you an idea of how one might dispose of their spell remains. I hope that this video was somehow useful to you. If you have any video ideas, let me know in the comments down below. Be always kind and see you in my next one.